everybody and welcome back to my kitchen over the holidays uh, I was invited to a friend's house and um, she had this squash I, I don't even want to call it a casserole I don't know what it how, just a cas uh, squash dish that was so delicious I have to share it with you now I'm making a big batch because Squash is, is uh, one of my favorite vegetables, and, and I'm going to enjoy this. I've washed this squash. I have three zucchini and three yellow squash. You can use any combination you want to. And in her uh, dish, she uh, sliced these very thinly, and I, and I made it before, and I sliced it thinly. But today... I'm going to take the ends off both of all of these and I'm going to dice them after I get them to a decent dicing size and I'm going to dice them in this uh, Chop Wizard, Vidalia Chop Wizard. And when I get all of that done, I'll be back. Alright, we're back and I've got my squash in this big pot here. I don't even know how many quarts it is. It's six or eight. And, you know, squash boils down to nothing. So, I felt safe in doing this. Preheat your oven to 350 degrees. Down in the very bottom of this pot, I've got a, uh, about a quarter of a stick of butter. And I'm going to put a little bit of salt. A lot of squash. Going to put a little bit of freshly ground pepper. Probably more pepper than you would put in there. But I mean, you know, you season this to your taste. This is to my taste. But it's a very light and delicious. I mean, anytime I can find a different way to fix squash. I'm going to pass it on to you. Alright, and now this is chicken broth base and seasoning and it's a powder. I'm going to put a teaspoon of that in there. Because I've got a lot of squash here. You know, you can half this recipe or quarter it, whatever uh, suits your family needs. Alright, the next thing we're going to do, if I can get you over here, yeah, is I have an onion that I've peeled and I left the, uh, the root end intact so it wouldn't fall apart. Got a box grater. I'm going to use, where are you? There you are this side of the grater and I'm going to grate about a third of this onion. Now the amount of onion that you put in is up to you. I don't want this saturated with onion taste. All I want to know is that there's onion in here. Let's see, I believe Let's see. Yeah. That's about got it right there. Get your onion off your box grater. Inside too. And you're going to put it in this pot. Now you're going to put this pot on like a medium um uh, low because you don't want to cook this squash all the way. We're just going to cook, cook it till it starts to get tender and that'll be the end of the cooking time. And then we'll be back. All right, we're back. The squash is <clears throat> almost done. And in the meantime, I mixed about, because I have a lot of squash, you'll have to adjust this if you're making less, 
about a third of a cup of mayonnaise and a little over maybe a fourth of a cup of sour cream and I mixed them together. I took a, an eight ounce can of um, water chestnuts and I drained them and rinsed them. Then I put them down on this um, sheet here and I chopped them up and I didn't make an issue out of it. You know, I didn't make work out of it. I just chopped them till they were in, these were whole. Um, but anyway, I chopped them up and I'm going to put them in my sour cream and mayonnaise mixture. I took the squash off the stove. I didn't, I don't know if I told you in the beginning, but you do not add any water, no liquid. The only thing that's going in there is the, um, and I told you I'm using more squash, half a stick of butter. So that's all that went in the bottom. And then as the squash began to cook, you know, I kept turning it over so the bottom squash wouldn't get overdone. And I took a couple of pats of butter and put it in a pan and put some panko breadcrumbs in there. And I let those get just a light golden brown. And I got those in a paper plate waiting. So now, all of the liquid that's in that squash, you drain it out drain every bit of it out. And we're going to bring it over here. Now, you can certainly use a, you know, a strainer, a regular strainer. This is what I used. But, you know, you can definitely use one of the just put it strain it through a strainer till it, all the liquid's gone and I got as much out as I possibly could. My oven is preheating and um, all right I got my squash here. It's not fully cooked it's just partially cooked mostly cooked I should say. Can you see that? There we go. And you see how much it cook down. Alright, I'm going to take my mayonnaise, sour cream, and water chestnut combination and put it in this hot squash. I think I probably need a spatula. To get to it better. I don't, now when you when you mix this it should be a light mayonnaise -y taste. You can taste the sour cream but it's just very subtle. That's how you know you've got it mixed right. <clears throat> All right I'm done with that. Now I'm just going to mix this up in here. Oh my goodness. I'm getting excited already. This is actually the best squash dish I have ever had. It really is. I couldn't eat enough of it. I could not eat enough of it at her house. I just, when I left, she had a small casserole dish of it. But when I left, she had probably two servings left, and I would have eaten that, but <laughs> I would have been embarrassed. Okay. All right. So I got that in there. And I'm going to, um, there's a little bit of a, uh, water chestnut in there. I, You know, I used to not really care for water chestnuts, but when you mix them in with something else, it'll take on that flavor. So, um, 
they were actually very good. I, I would not fix this dish without them. I wouldn't. All right, now here's my casserole dish. I'm going to back off just a little bit. Here's my casserole dish right here. And I'm going to empty this squash. get it over where you can see not that it matters but emptying all this hot squash in here and there should be very little liquid probably the liquid that you see is from the mayonnaise and sour cream melting and you see it doesn't take over the dish but it's going to coat it Alright, now what I'm going to do now is um, just sprinkle the um, panko breadcrumb, toasted panko breadcrumbs over the top of this and put it in the oven at 350 for about 30 minutes. And then we'll be back. zoom in a little bit show you what that looks like all right we're back my squash casserole is done and this is what it looks like inside I already pulled some out on a plate it's uh, delicious delicious I want to say the best squash casserole, it's not really a casserole, best squash, well it could be, best I've ever eaten. And, I, and I'm going to give it to Sam who yeah. is going to taste it. Let me give you a close up first of, of it. Uh, well, I'll be, the, I'll be the judge of how good Let it is. Let me know how you like <laughs> those water chestnuts. <coughs> oh, yeah. Or if you need any salt and pepper. Got a little zucchini in it. Yeah. I guess you were right. It's it's delicious. Mmm. Yeah. Do you like the water chestnuts? I sure it do. Gives a little bit of crunch and. Yeah, it tastes, it's very good and very healthy tasting. It's. It's a light taste, isn't it? Mm, light. But it still has a lot of flavor. Oh, yeah. Yeah, because of the um, chicken broth and the grated onions. All right, guys, this is it. This is our squash casserole or squash dish that will just soothe your soul. It's so good. Mm. I hope you try it, and uh, I appreciate you coming in and spending part of your day with me. Like and subscribe if you haven't. And until next time, you all take care.